placing orders. Again, we have the various mechanisms, and we kind of talked about this. You know, pre-selling. Oh, I didn't talk about the EDI side. You actually have the ability to receive, like 7-Eleven. They'll send you their 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 uh, sort of their their orders. You know, electronically. Uh, Doc sales is when you sell from the warehouse. Andrews does that. If you're under 20 cases, they don't deliver. Go to the warehouse and, and, and pick it up. You know, so. Uh, uh, but again, I don't want to you know, uh, spoil the fun. I'd like for you guys to evaluate those, engage. You know, your pod mates and everything. You know, in the conversation. You know, and uh, and try and track down. You know, uh, at least take a first pass. You know, of understanding what those what, what those things are, and uh, and then we can reconvene and uh, and and have a pretty good conversation. So. We have sales processes, we have inventory processes. Again, these are kind of the standard, you know, uh, uh, the standard elements from getting the product, managing your inventory, and when you receive um, uh, orders, how do we get the stuff on the truck? And there's a variety of ways you know, of accomplishing this. And then we have the administrative side of things. You know, product costing, you know, making sure I've got good margins in EOSTAR, that I can produce financial statements on, on on the GL side, uh, that manage my you know uh, AR for the AR states, the non-COD states. Uh, I mean, Manhattan may have, may have up to twenty million dollars in outstanding AR. You want to make sure nothing slips through the cracks, you know. So there's ways to manage AR, credit limits, you know, uh, risk mitigation. We have uh, features in the application where. Well, Steve has a thousand dollar credit limit. He's at eight hundred right now. That you know orders he hasn't paid for yet. The pre-seller is sending a four hundred dollar order. Well, the system can automatically switch that order from uh, uh, the net thirty to COD because now we're taking you know we're going beyond our comfort level there. You know, so uh, so if they want this, they need to either pay up you know on one of the prior invoices or pay cash for this one because. You know, if we said a thousand is as much as we're willing to gamble with you, you know, huh? we're not going past that. So there's all kinds of again maintenance, review, sending statements, making sure that you have the proper you know AR you know, policies in place. So that you'll recognize from one of our slides, route settlement. This is what started RAS in the system, and as you can see, uh, it's kind of funny that this particular uh, chunk, you know. Huh, is used to identify the entire application now, <laughs> but uh, but that's wrapped element. Uh, supply reporting, all of them have data requirements. They want to see your data on a weekly or a daily basis, so you have to you know uh, show them stuff. State tax reporting, that's what we talked about earlier. Excise tax payments. This is what I sold in terms of alcohol or wine. They usually have different kind of tax rates, you know, uh, for this period. So here's the check, you know, uh, to the state. Uh, South Carolina was a dollar seventy one per case at the time. So for each two hundred eighty eight ounces of alcohol that we sold, we owed a dollar seventy one to the state, and we sold a million cases a year. You know, so uh, that was a nice little chunk, you know, that the state you got, you know, for for us, you know, uh, delivering, you know, uh, delivering beer. Uh, and then there's you know employee compensation. Uh, I would say the majority of our customers uh, have some kind of um, commission structure. Some of them are on salary, but it's really rare. I mean, uh, uh, that's really rare. And there's some, everything in between. You may have a base plus your commission, but you need to identify you know, what they make, maybe on the high margin products, or it's on a per cases basis, or it's on the per you know, uh, uh, sales. Okay, you sold $100,000 worth of products, so you get you know, percentage. So there's all kinds of things for salesmen and drivers that, that, uh, that, uh, that we help manage. So. Um, Again, just as a recap, industry, uh, to help you with that, I will send you a glossary of beer terms. And if you look back at the slide, and, uh, and that one, you kind of already know what the various parameters are. Pricing, terms, three-tier system, supplier and retailer relationships. I, mean, I don't know what you would bend. Uh, I don't know that there's much, you know, much more in terms of breadth. There's always details, you know, uh, that, that, that you're going to learn over time. But um, this is going to help you with street creds and understanding of the environment that we're in. But uh, where things get really interesting is, again, the flows and the internal processes. And the closer you go to your level of understanding to the micro, the closer we are to EOSTAR, you know, uh, in terms of, oh, okay, that makes sense. They have that screen because of that, you know. Uh, so I will send you the, that beer glossary. 
the uh, end game uh, picture of the flows so that you have kind of a guideline. It may not be that legible because again, it's it was done, you know, on the whiteboard, you know, in a, in a picture. But it'll give you uh, some directional, you know, um, guidance. You know, this is what you're trying to accomplish. And I think that uh, over the next few weeks, if you could, you know, uh, I know you're gonna focus on being productive, answering phone calls, emails, you know, learning EOSTAR, but at the same time, do allocate, you know, uh, 30 minutes to an hour a week to, again, uh, furthering your understanding of, uh, of those elements. And, uh, and not get with Ben uh, and, and see what we can do on a weekly basis to get together and answer your questions and make sure that you know, there's steady progress. Because one of the challenges is that we didn't necessarily have until uh, recently uh, a formal process. We had some training sessions with new hires. But um, we need you guys to be ready you know, in fairly short order because we're taking on you know, some additional customers. We have, we're growing, we have the Coke deal, we have, you know, again, Houston, we just signed a you know, top 20 distributor. We have some, some additional deals that are you know, uh, pending. You know? So um, we used to be okay with, oh, it's gonna take you know, six, nine, 12 months for people to be ready. And uh, we can't wait 12 months now. So we will meet with you guys you know, to make sure that you know, there's constant progress and that we're uh, providing you with, uh, uh, with the information that you need. Ben has that uh, video library project that you know, uh, that he's working on. So um, he's building some videos that are again topic specific, you know, GL writing the X reports, introduction to EOSTAR, and so on. And uh, and we have a poll where you can you know, watch the videos and take some quizzes to see you know if you have proper understanding and retention of the material. So you'll see more and more of those videos you know show up as well. But. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, basically it as far as you know, that that introduction. Any any particular questions? No.